Uh, this monitor here is a 30 inch 2560 by 1600 monitor. You notice that there's a little bar at the bottom. This is this video content is what we call 1440p. If you walked into the room and this monitor was sitting here and a keyboard was sitting here, a keyboard and mouse, you would like your cell phone to just display on there and you'd be able to do all full photo editing, video editing, document writing documents, browsing web, all that kind of stuff. And so the ability to, to perform necessary compute and drive the graphics and video resolution uh, for a monitor like this is first in the mobile space and something pretty amazing. So there, I think there's no question that um, our, our ability to drive the next generation of video content is here and it's now. Um, this stream is, uses all the same capabilities of a Blu-ray disc uh, just at a higher bit rate, higher higher resolution. So well, that's the uh, that's the video and display properties. I apologize, this was asked. What when exactly are we looking at this getting into devices and into market? It's so. a great question. Um, we uh, we will we're confident and expect to see systems in the market in about the August time frame okay. of this year. Tablets. We're expecting not, not tablets. Next year. We're expecting tablets from our customers in the August time frame. And, and you cell probably phones. expect phones by the holiday of 2011, this holiday season. It takes about 15 seconds to run. He just kicked it off. You'll see, first of all, that the CPUs all get pegged, of course, in terms of go to their maximum utilization. Setting for, okay, and then this is the result. So as you can see, Kalel was 11,354 core mark score. That compares to a Tegra 2 score of 5840. So it's almost exactly 2x the performance of Tegra 2. Bring it back here,